on already we have uh, donated some cups for them so that the each and every child can have his or her own cup. Yeah. Rebecca fit Ediana wide mina itama garden fit wet na farhanin film talele la nu jabole na kababi kan menda na kababi ganna shirabu be baka lakina lela raba na gizer yal mas gulubu shana jibule na kababi asia zol bak zera gode shirabu be kubaya buta ulisa fi hajar na aksin lena asi brother sabatana lisa ma bono umadaris machine yofto madar sabatana ma bono bed bitana ma bono wam tar jain Takdar telimu ya den kumabu ya ruhi ya shan takdar tesaidu shan yalde el kutar shedid bagi al masho beru yalde lisa biar jau ketir nina deri na shan tesaidu na yabnu bed betana o madersa menda na kararis menda na blak bo dal gaid deru suna fogu gam sigu karas fe den nas bamulu guru menda na sobura gaid deru suna fogu nina moktajin sobura moktajin kararis moktajin a jat ketir أنا اسمي ميري بروفيت بيتي دي أنا ساكن في ستون تشاناي نانتي أنا واحد من يالا تيمي بشكر آي راديو عشان جابوا لنا كبابي شكرا لهم كده ربنا يباركهم ربنا يزيدوا أكتر فأكتر ربنا يزيدوا فأجا هم ديرنا ندنا وري آي راديو لو في ناس تبار في ناس كبار ديرنا عشان هم يساعدونا نينا يالا تيمي لو كان ما ربنا يالا مزقري بابويا روي عشان يساعدنا كان يال كتال بقتلون في شارع يال كتار موتوا بيجو لكن الشعراب أنا لما أزقلبو هو زوروات في جنوب السودان يا رب أنا لما أزقلبو قام لما أنا نينا يال مندا نومهانا نينا أجنر فابلو دما في ناس تانين وأنا بشكر أبي أري لانو مسقنا لانو مسق يال سخار شديد لو كان ما رب أنا كان أبي أري ما بمسقنا ديا كلامه وشكرا أي راديو وشكرا لأبي أري وأنا بشكر رب أنا شكرا لكم Malakum tidak naik mata buah ruh yang lebih kita ini. Anin jangan kau lembah na jadi kerja cabang na jangan jangan malabis main dana malabis main dana kau masal berbuzuk kau siang jalan dari cibo servis main dana yang kerja cabang na jangan jalan bers yang lembah saya maaf ya hanya kulu maaf. Wan ganu saya rob nak kali termi dia dah nampak di jaya tu. Asyik ke rob na ibu dari el musgrup tak nasi al kubar asyik ke benda sahaja na asyik ni arifu galfi iya alfi jinu bersudan ini. Yang fi fi bernas saya ni dah nampak sahaja fi jinu bersudan ini. Wan ganu cukup anda kumpul semua. What is this about? Uh, Stone International Church of Finnish live direct from I Radio. Uh, we are here just want to talk about a few things that we are facing challenges the children in the Stone International Church of Finnish home. I am Stas Jacob in the Stone International Church, one of the orphans. I'm an orphan in the house. So the challenges that are facing children, mostly they don't have a school. In the school we have a land that the government has given us, but the land there is nothing that is constructed yet. Uh, so we need to help outside those who are viewers, those partners outside that they can help children in South Sudan. You can join your hands together with iRadio to hear their problems, hear their pain. These are orphans of South Sudan who have been with us since 2014. Seeing the world break out, we have been here together with the Prophet. He has been feeding us with those of well, well wishes. So well wishes that the one who normally bring for us food to eat. Actually, they don't have enough food to eat. They don't have enough shelter. They don't have enough rooms for them to sleep in. So we are urging, we are urging those who are outside there to come and join their hands together, to come and support the man of God that in the house prophet PTAD. Let those who are outside there, those of our leaders, you are there. These children are the generations that will raise our Sudan up. For the, with your help, we hope that these children will see them one day that they are the best children to hold and our nations well. So I want to say that these children, there are very many. We, have, we are all seeing almost thousand in this place. But during the COVID-19, some of them were her parents. They, we left them home and they went back home. So we remember that, that South Sudan has declared that schools are opening very soon in this May. So 
it's going to be enough that we want to say that those who are outside there try to join their hands together because they are going to come back those who left home there's nowhere they will go and stay there's nowhere they will go to school but it is only stone international church the man of god has told him to bring the children to the house so i would be grateful as one of the teachers the volunteer of the teachers we have teachers also we are facing challenges of teachers our teachers here they are volunteers there are no teachers that are paid and the team that are working the church are the one teaching the children so if there are teachers outside there who are coming from a different nation coming from different world stone international church is for all nations our vision is changing souls changing nations and changing the world may god bless you so much thank you These are the, the items I Media and I Radio brought to the orphans. As you can see, some of the orphans do not have slippers. You can see the situation. You can see they have no food. It just drizzled a few minutes ago, but they had nowhere to stay. So they were just staying there in the rain. My appeal is that all South Sudanese, wherever you are listening to I Radio from, please do something for these children. These are our own children. They are the children of this nation and they are going to be the future's leaders, as we always say. Yes, as you can see, these are the kind of mattresses these children sleep on. And uh, they are only 200 mattresses, which will not be enough for over 500 children. You can see this is the only room. And uh, some of these children, they sleep on these blankets. This is what they use as the bed sheet and the mattress for some of them. Because uh, the sleeping materials are not enough. Some sleep on the mat. During rainy season, they'll sleep here. It just drizzled a few minutes ago and the children had to stop outside for the rain to stop. There is no any other facility. Very important issue is that the medical facility. As you can see, this young child here, sleeping here, he, have, he has malaria, but there is no any clinic around to take him. So, it's the responsibility for all South Sudanese and the well wishers to see the dire situation these children are in. Here, this is where the food is prepared. You can see it's a small space where the food is being cooked for over 500 children and. Uh, just beside me here is the Prophet Peter Eddy. Here you can see I have a radio. They came with a, a hand to give us the privilege of what to bring with. And uh, as you could see, this is Stone International Church of Penage. Uh, we are hosting more than a thousand children. Uh, and due to the rains that have hit, some children have gone back to Vietnamese. But uh, this place, we are preparing it as a better place for them. And uh, as you could see, this place is not going to take more than 500 heaven. So it's good for the viewers of I Radio to see the construction that has come up. This is from one of the organizations called HDC. It is HDC who have constructed this one. It is boys' quarter. And the other one, we are going to use it as for girls. And there is a room behind here for the uh, uh, the other growing up girls. And uh, the construction behind us is the bathroom. We are cooking here for now because they are working on the kitchen. That's the kitchen behind here. And uh, we are so thankful to God and uh, we love South Sudan. And that's why uh, we are doing whatever we are doing here because we are a change into our nation. So I want to encourage uh, the listeners worldwide 
that what we have done here it's by the instruction of God and if God has touched you uh, hearing uh, the children voicing out their pains let's come join our hands together the government of South Sudan uh, it's our duty as a church and uh, there's no church without government and there's no government without church and uh, it's, it's something for you to understand it very well we are not doing this for name but we are doing it for the glory of God and the glory of the nation so thank you so much the challenge is facing the children is that the place of accommodation is not enough we have a big lane behind us there 60 plots given to us and uh, I'm urging the public and the well wishes the organizations that are operating within South Sudan that uh, this construction you could see cannot uh, accommodate this mm, big number so one of the challenges is accommodation they don't have proper accommodation number two they don't have uh, classes for the schools as the schools are opening now even the tents for us to erect them we don't have them so we are urging that uh, for the organizations we are knocking your doors if tents are there avail them with that, uh, to us so that we can uh, facilitate them and number three is feeding you can see yourself uh, this is Janjaro and uh, like uh, for Helen like this it cannot even at times be enough so we have shortage of food and we have shortage of sleeping materials plus hygiene, uh, soaps and everything that is related, medicine, medically whenever the child is sick, taking uh, the child to a low clinic or other hospitals, it's very expensive. So we are also urging the Minister of Health to give a hand with medicine and to come and facilitate whatever they can manage to facilitate. Plus the, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, uh, we believe that they, they have an assignment here. So the main challenge in facing us is shelter, food, clothes, sleeping materials, and hygiene. Thank you. We're having like five rooms around here, and these five rooms are not enough for the kids now, because we almost have, like we tell you, that uh, we have thousands of the children around here. But 500 cannot stay here in this room, so we are requesting the well preachers outside there to come and help us support the children to construct the school and home where they have given us the land. We will show you one day and you will see it, the 60 plot that has been given to us by the government. But the government has done their part by giving the land, but those who are partners, UNHCR, UNICEF, and all those that can do something to the children of the nation, let them join their hands together and do something in that land. And we will really be really proud because the nation is holding children that will be a greater of this nation. They are the children that will do the best. But it is not enough for over 500 children. So there is still that need to expand the place. There is uh, there's a big land that has been given to the children. Some of the kids are walking barefoot. They don't have slippers, they don't have shoes, and it has just rained and the mud is here, as you can see us walking. Um, we all need the support for these children. We need them to be supported with all the material, all the basic needs, the education, health, food, clothing, and so many other basic needs that the human being must uh, have in this world. I am Priska Akol.